Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm going to walk you through a demo of three Snowflake features. Snowflake native apps, Snowpark container services, and hybrid tables. For this demo, we're pretending to be the engineering team at a global manufacturer, and we're building tools for our support team to use. Here at Ski Gear Co., our support team is distributed globally. We want to make sure that everyone can use the new large language model features that we built earlier. Our support team uses this great homegrown app to manage support tickets, and we're going to add these new features right into it. Now, what's cool about this app is that Snowflake is not only powering the analytical and reporting functionality, but it's also hosting the custom front end, the state store, and the LLM functionality that you saw earlier. In fact, the entire app is running inside Snowflake, which we can see in the URL. Having all of this run in Snowflake means that data is more secure, our architecture is simpler, and we can release new features faster. And not only is this running entirely in Snowflake, but because it's a Snowflake native app, we're able to share it with each regional support team and have them run it in their own Snowflake account, running on all the data that they have access to. Now, let's take a look at the code and see how we did this. Here we are in VS Code, which is my preferred environment for development. This is my Snowflake native app package, which includes all the objects that are part of my app, the data, the code, the privileges, and you'll also see the container image for the custom front end that we've built. Now, what's cool is that just like the data and code in a Snowflake native app, this container is going to run in the customer's account on a compute pool that they control but without giving them the ability to inspect it or download it. That means I can protect my code and my IP. Let's see what we've actually got in this container. Here, you can see that this is a standard React app. There's nothing special or custom designed for Snowflake here. We were able to really easily take this app and deploy it in a container without making any changes. Snowpark Container Services opens up a wide range of possibilities of what you can run in Snowflake including access to GPUs and custom code. So let's look at how we brought our call summary feature into the app. We had just deployed this feature as a function inside Snowflake. So we're just gonna call that from our React app. With just a couple lines of code, we've got everything connected up. So let's try it out. Here, I'm gonna to click to generate a summary of this call log that I'm seeing. This is making a call into Snowflake and executing our large language model to generate a summary. And just like that, I can now see a great summary of what happened in this entire conversation quickly and easily. This is going to be super helpful for our support folks. Now, we don't just want to display this. We also want to make sure that we're storing these call summaries so that we can grade them and refer to them later. Normally, this would require a separate transactional database. But with hybrid tables, we're going to store these directly in Snowflake. I've switched back to Snowsite, and here we can see the summary that was generated. We'll go ahead and run this. Now, since hybrid tables enforces primary keys, we can confirm that each support ticket identifier is unique. It won't allow us to insert a duplicate ticket ID. Data integrity is also maintained by using a foreign key relationship that enforces referential integrity. So it also won't let us add a customer that doesn't exist. But we can insert a row that has both a unique primary key and is for a valid customer record. With hybrid tables, we can use transactional data right alongside our analytical data, all within a single platform. This reduces the need to manage multiple databases, really simplifying development and management. Now this app, it's analytical data, it's transactional data, the large language model-based functions, the custom React front end, it is all running entirely within the consumer's Snowflake account. It is securely deployed against the data that they have access to. And we can automatically scale our infrastructure to support increased usage without any operational burden. Now this is deployed as an internal app, but it's easy to turn it into an entirely new revenue stream for our company. We can sell, distribute, and deploy apps like this to customers across the data cloud all within Snowflake, and all while protecting our code. Thanks for tuning in, and we're excited to see what you build with these new technologies.